we went to the 20 week appointment, uh, excited to find out if we were gonna have a boy or a girl. As she was doing the ultrasound was, are you sure you wanna know? And yes, we wanna know. And she said, it's a girl. And I'm pretty sure I teared up. I was so excited. She continued the ultrasound and she had been really chatty and talkative and just stopped communicating. And of course, we're still on the high of, oh my gosh, we're having a girl, we have a boy and a girl, this is great. Eventually, she said she needed to get the doctor. Between the tech telling us that and the doctor telling us, you know, it was probably about five to 10 minutes, but we went back out into the waiting room and we were both crying and really emotional and that was really difficult because we didn't know, you know, obviously something was wrong. You know, I just couldn't get past the fact that she was probably gonna have to have open heart surgery and knowing what that entailed and I just, it was hard to even imagine. In your mind, you're trying to understand why this is happening to your child and your family. This is the baby that God wants us to have and we're um, blessed and we're gonna do all we can to be prepared for whatever that journey is. Right after she was born, I, we did get to see her very, very briefly, but then they took her. I was just praying over and over again, just let her be okay, let her be okay. I would go in at night usually several times if I ever woke up and I'd just go and put my hand on her chest and just just beating like a drum. It's like a hummingbird's heart, you know, just going boom, 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 and just being, oh, it was so hard. Right before her surgery, we were at my sister's wedding and she like l catches her breath. And you, yeah, you can tell she's just, yeah, she's dizzy. Kind of teeter a little bit. Yes. That was the first time. We'd like captured that or seen that, you know, to look over it, look at it over and over and be like, man, what's going on there? It's time. She needs the surgery. We were told over and over again, bigger is better. She's maybe as big as she can get at this point. It's time for this. For me, just the trauma to the chest, I mean, that's a really for lack of a better word, violent surgery. I mean, geez Louise, can you imagine your child going through that? Even through all those appointments when we were doing all of the imaging and, and seeing, you know, the heart size pre-surgery, getting bigger and bigger, to then post-surgery, within weeks, significantly smaller and doing so much better. But she won't ever be able to run a marathon, but she's, other than that, it'll be, you know, she'll be like any other kid. I mean, I, she's definitely a really strong little person. I'm always impressed by how resilient she is. Somewhere in her psyche, she's still knows and remembers that she went through a lot and overcame a lot. She really likes softball and she loves dance. Almost every day for like 15 minutes, she's just jumping around the house doing dance or something. Tenny is a pretty typical 10 year old. She's got a lot of energy, just a very entertaining girl. She's got a big personality and uh, you really never know what's gonna come out of her mouth. I'm in dance and I'm also in softball and Girl Scouts. Well, since I'm one of the pitchers, like, people sometimes look up to me, not only because I'm taller than them, but... She does have uh, annual checkups, which we're thankful, only annual checkups. She still has a mitral valve defect. They uh, tried to fix that during surgery, and it didn't work out. But, uh, so we managed that with medication. Other than that, yeah, it's just... She's just a normal kid. I always feel... Like if I'm having a bad day, then dance is the solution because it always seems to help me focus on dance and at school. Part of the journey and what helped us along the way was that we, as we were doing research, 
found so many other families in the area impacted with similar or even more difficult journeys. And some of those individuals had had, you know, surgeries 30 plus years ago. And what they went through, but they're still thriving, was really encouraging to us. And now to see how much technology and how innovative uh, uh, healthcare continues to be, how we have wonderful, wonderful medical and healthcare professionals who care, genuinely care about our community. It is very encouraging to see just the continued progress that's being made and that there are so many people and organizations that are dedicated and committed to, to making our communities even better. I'm just trying to do my the best as I can because if my heart messes me up and then the next day I'll be thinking, why did I do that? My heart isn't bad. I got help. I'm fine now. And I can do everything that I can do. So I should just look into the future, not in the past. She said that she felt it was time for her to share her story. I view that as her being very courageous and very brave. It's okay if you have a heart problem. It doesn't make you any less than you.